All right, 65, they tell us to multiply, and they've given us 4 minus 5i times the quantity 6 plus 6i. Well, I don't want you to let these i's scare you. What would you do if these were x's, if this was 4 minus 5x times 6 plus 6x? You'd probably tell me to FOIL, right? Well, let's do that here. Let's go ahead and FOIL. So first, outer, inner, and last. So we have 4 times 6, that's going to give us 24. 4 times 6i is going to give us plus 24i. Negative 5i times 6 will give us minus 30i. And negative 5i times 6i is going to give us negative 30i squared. So let's go ahead and combine some like terms here. So we have 24, and then 24 minus 30i is going to give us negative 6i minus 30i squared. And you can't forget, what does i squared equal? Well, hopefully you said negative 1. So let's go ahead and take this i squared. We're going to get rid of the i squared and instead replace it with negative 1. So let's go ahead and rewrite our our expression here and see what happens. So 24 minus 6i. Now we have negative 30 times negative 1, which is positive 30. So now when we combine like terms again, 24 plus 30 is 54 and minus our 6i. And there we have it, the final answer for 65. And the reason we want to keep it like this is so that we're in a plus bi form, where a is your real number and bi is your imaginary number here. So it should be a plus or minus, I guess I should say. But 54 minus 6i, there you have it, number 65.